Hi, I'm Paul Friedman, founder of the Marriage Foundation. Today's topic is solving a lack of intimacy in marriage. And this is an interesting topic because really what most people are talking about when they say a lack of intimacy is, you guessed it, it's sex. But sex is a way of conveying intimacy. It is not intimacy itself especially in a marriage you know intimacy is something so precious it really is and so we need it because of all the hype in the world movies television all that we've come to regard sexual intimacy as intimacy and like i said it's not so really what is intimacy before we get into how to solve it Intimacy is the connection between you and your spouse. And when I say a connection, I am not talking about emotional. I'm not talking about physical. I'm not talking about psychological. Intimacy takes place in the highest region of who you are. It is your soul. You're a soul. You know, even in religions, they talk about soul as, oh, you have a soul, the devil's gonna get your soul, blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, you are a soul. You are a soul. You don't have one. You are one. What you have is you have a body and a mind. And you use these two aspects of yourself, these components of who you are, because you're a triune being, you use them to express yourself in the world. To express yourself to your spouse should always be intimate. But what happens is we allow our body's drives to survive primarily, to interfere. We have blocks. We don't trust. We're not sure. We have to analyze. And these things get in the way big time. The truth is, if you were just the pure soul, you would be afraid of nothing. The soul has no fear. Nothing can destroy it. Nothing can hurt it. You are that. And you know what that is? It's love. It's pure love. So how do we solve this? Because it's much more important. You'll have the sex if you have the intimacy first, but not the other way around. So how do you do it? Step one, recognize that those things that eclipse your love have to be dealt with. You have to get rid of those. And there's many ways to do that. Almost any self-help book talks about that. How do you get rid of fear? How do you get rid of anger? jealousy, criticism, complaining. How do you get rid of those? Because those get in the way of your intimacy. So those have to go. Those are the negative things that impact your ability to be intimate. The next step, which is a simultaneous step, is to learn how to express the soul's quality of love, both verbally and physically. And you do that in very subtle or overt ways. It really doesn't matter. When you say, I love you, if you say it the way a parrot does, it doesn't do anything. You could say, I love you, I love you, I love you, a billion trillion times, and it won't matter. But if you open your heart and you say, I love you, by first in your heart feeling that love, one little I love you is amazing. And that's how you do it. So you have to train your mind. You know, your mind is all about habits. And you have to train your mind to first stop, delve into your heart, open up your heart, and communicate from there. I promise you, if you do this just for one day, where you block all the negative crap, all of the interference with love and at the same time 
you force your mind to first tie to your heart with your communication and expressions, you will start to feel intimacy. You do this long enough, and I don't mean years, <laughs> you do this long enough, and pretty soon you will start experiencing the intimacy in your marriage with your spouse that you're intended to, that you're meant to. And you'll discover what I've discovered, that marriage is an ultimate path of happiness, of joy, contentment. You just need to know a few of the tricks, right? Okay. Well, I hope this was helpful to you. And if it was, press that like button. Go ahead, it won't break your finger. And share this with some of your friends. Share it with your spouse. You should have that intimacy. It's so beautiful. It's why you get married for that happiness born on intimacy. Blessings to you, blessings to your spouse, and blessings to your family.